please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brother. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, the Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife Jezebel came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite and said to him, sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, a fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up, eat, and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and king. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing, through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation, Naboth has cursed God and king. And they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. 
When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite that he refused to sell you because Naboth is not alive but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off on his way down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord, attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to my, my groaning. groaning. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to my, my groaning. groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to my groaning. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. As Catholics and Christians, we are supposed to be different. God made us to be different. Jesus died for us, for us to be different. We are not supposed to be like everybody else in our country that says it's all about me. I can do whatever I want. I can live any lifestyle I want and you can't say anything about it to me. And I can do whatever I want. That's not what we are for. That's not what we have been given, this beautiful church and our faith in the Holy Spirit. We are supposed to be different. In the first century, people flocked to the church flocked by the tens of thousands to the church because they acted different. They showed everybody how much they loved. They did. They turned their other cheek. They did what Jesus told them to do. And people looked at them and said, wow, wow, I would like to be like that. I would like to be part of them. And they did. They came. But somewhere along the line, we've gotten that. We're not the people that the apostles were anymore. We don't turn our cheek on it to other people. We cut people off when they cut us off. We get mad at them when they get in, get in front of us in line. We get irritated from somebody the way they speak to us. We are not that kind of person that Jesus wants us to be. I don't think it takes much more for us to get there, though. I think we can. We have been given this gift of being kind and merciful and loving and being peaceful and being that person that turns his cheek to others. 
We need to remember that every day as we get up and go into this world that is against that. We need to stand up for our church, for our faith, and for our Lord Jesus who told us this is how we should live. My brothers and sisters, let us offer to God our petitions. For a pope, bishops, and priest, that they may offer this holy sacrifice with reverent devotion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Catholics throughout the world, that the meaning of the Eucharist may bring us closer to God, so that we may find peace in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us as we come to the supper of our Lord, that we will accept this gift as his true body and blood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an end to the coronavirus and healing to all those who have it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, and for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the repose of the soul of Ephraim Domingo, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. Almighty God, accept our prayers in union with the perfect prayer of your beloved Son, the one acceptable victim and eternal priest who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness who have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it should become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness who have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it should become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. O God, who in these offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, 
you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and pass tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heavens and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done. done on and earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our, our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver evil. us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that you should enter my room, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for each and life. Amen. Just to reiterate, the bishop strongly urges you to please take communion with your hand for the safety of us as well as for the safety of others. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. You don't free.
Christ. Is there someone who wanted love gluten free? Do you have it? Lord of Christ. For those of you who are at home, let us pray, pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, there is a group uh, that's supposed to be having some prayers, the Rosary and Divine Mercy after Mass. So if you remember or you want to join them, feel free to do so. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord in your lives. Thanks be to God.